Hello, friends, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm gonna be melting one of every lipstick from the drugstore together into one giant mega drug. I mean, mega lipstick. So I've previously mixed together a lot of things, including my own makeup, as well as every candle from Bath & Body Works, every beauty guru's eyeshadow palette, and about a year ago, one of every lipstick from Sephora. With the goal of that experiment being to find the average or midpoint shade of all of the lipsticks sold there, which would be an approximate representation of the most marketable lipstick at Sephora. And that Frankenfora lipstick ended up being this berry color, which I think turned out this way because of just how many pink lipsticks Sephora stocks. What can I say? Sephora likes pink. So what we wanna do with this Franken lipstick experiment is to compare the midpoint shade of the drugstore lipsticks to the midpoint shade of the lipsticks at Sephora to not only see the full array and statistics of what the drugstore offers color-wise, but also how the brands and the price point may affect what the drugstore thinks are their most marketable shades. So our plan is to go pro up, walk into the drugstore, buy a ton of lipsticks, and then get to melting. But first, a couple of things. One, per our previous experiment, when I melt down all of these lipsticks, I'm gonna end up with more than just one tube of lipstick. So I'm gonna take the extra tubes that I make and give them back to you guys as a subscriber giveaway. We are probably not gonna do a naming contest this time because that got wildly out of hand, but we will share all of the details for the giveaway at the end of the video. Two, also per our previous video, this video is sponsored, but this time by Honey. Now, if you don't know, Honey is a free browser plugin that automatically checks for the best promo codes every time you shop for something online, which I do arguably too much. Definitely too much. See this entire channel. So basically, if you download it right before you check out, this little dancing coin man will check out Honey's database to see if there are any promo codes available to save you some money. It works on a lot of popular retail websites like Ulta, Morphe, and Macy's, as well as smaller stores like Anise, which is once again where I get my butt scrub. What can I say? I use a lot of it. So a big thank you to Honey, who has somehow become a prime enabler of all of my strangest lipstick desires. And if you want to try it out, you can download it for free at joinhoney.com slash Sophia. All right, and with that, it's time for Franken Lipstick 2 Electric Boogaloo. So step one of our drugstore Franken Lipstick adventure was to choose which drugstore we would ransack. Now product availability does vary from drugstore to drugstore, but I would say there are a few main makeup brands that we all think of when we think of drugstore makeup that I want to make sure we hit. So I wanted to find a sort of typical drugstore location, AKA not one of those Walgreens that have like a really souped up beauty section. And I also wanted to make sure that I was shopping at an actual drugstore and not just a larger store that happens to sell drugstore brands like Target or Ulta. So I chose good old CVS. Now I am admittedly partial to CVS because one sprang up near my childhood home when I was in about eighth grade. So a large part of my high school makeup experimentation was facilitated by them. I am also just generally an extra bucks hoe. Okay, so we are outside of CVS right now, ready to head in and attempt to buy one of every lipstick that they sell in there. I am nervous. I'm always nervous when we go and like film in a store that they could kick us out of, but I'm a little excited to, you know, get my hands on some lipsticks. Psst, grab them. Grab and go. Well, grab, pay and go. Yeah. But mostly grab and go. So for our Franken CVS lipstick experiment, just so we aren't mixing too many elements, I'm gonna make sure that every product we buy is a traditional lipstick, not a liquid lipstick, lip pencil, crayon, or balm. They have more cameras surveying us here. I know. But we're not doing anything bad. We're just buying a lot of their stock. It's mischievous, but it's not illegal. However, I will include any finish, like sheer, matte, metallic, and cream, just so we can get a range of formulas as well as colors. It looks like you're leading it. 
That's the Viking in me. There is also the dynamic of what if a lipstick is sold out? And I'm sure that we may just miss a few completely. Oh my God. I'm gonna get so many extra bucks. This is gonna be out of control. But if I notice that a lot of colors are missing from a particular brand or line, I'll make sure to fill in as many of the blanks as I can by going to another CVS. Oh. That's a lot of bag. Oh, that took a while. Yeah. What's interesting is that actually picking the lipsticks off the shelves didn't take that long, but checking out took like an hour. <laughs> and not because of all the scanning. We literally had to call Chase Bank like eight times to tell them that we were not fraudulent. But with five bags of lipsticks, I think we got it. I am like very impressed by the amount of receipts that we have, to be honest. That's uh, insane. And also the length of them. Um, Maypole who? Why Project who? Look, I'm Meghan Markle. Okay, let's focus here. All right. So after some bank issues and some aid from some helpful CVS employees, I think we have all the lipsticks that this CVS has to offer. So let's get out of here before they change their minds. Come on, let's go. <laughs> okay, so we are here with all of our lipsticks ready to chop. So after our trip to CVS, we collected over 500 different lipsticks, which we have since sorted into different color categories and also swatched. I think something we learned from last time is that pre-swatching is best, just so someone doesn't forget to swatch. I have no idea who you're talking about. <laughs> what happened? I think I forgot to swatch the last two. And the color category we have are nudes, pinks, reds, purples, browns, oranges, and miscellaneous odd ones. And like last time, I'm going to begin with the nudes. Okay, so let's just dive right into it, shall we? I'm gonna start with this guy. It is a L'Oreal Color Riche Matitude. Now, in addition to the general mega CVS lipstick, I'm also throwing in an element to our experiment that we didn't do in our Sephora video, which is making individual individual Franken lipsticks for each of our color categories. So we're gonna be making an average nude lipstick, an average red lipstick, an average purple lipstick, etc. Just because I'm interested to see how those would turn out. So before I drop each of our lipsticks into our mixing bowl, I'm going to be chopping off just the tip of it to go towards its respective subcategory lipstick. And once I've chopped the heads off of each of them, I'm just gonna chop the bodies into the large pan. So as we detailed in our Sephora video, as well as our lipstick cake video, there is a way to extract the entirety of the lipstick from the tube. If you're able to kind of like grasp the front part and pull it out, that doesn't always work though, especially with softer lipsticks. So I'll try my best, but we might just have to hack some of them off. You're gonna have to hack most of them off. It's gonna be a hack job. All right, here we go. Another one bites the dust. You're gonna roll here. I'm just getting into the zone. Auto zone. What? I don't know. Oh, that was that was horrible. That was a wet one. Is that a wet wild? No, it was a, a Revlon, but it was wet and it was wild. <laughs> These physician formula ones are like super buttery. They are made with muru muru butter. So I guess them being buttery makes sense, but they are very annoying to swatch and cut because they kind of like disintegrate in your hands. Well, then that is your white whale. That is I your... don't even want to start there. That'll go, That's going to drive me insane. That's your nude whale. Here's the interesting thing about that is aren't whales always nude? They don't wear clothes. That's a good point. That's kind of like the Donald Duck conundrum. Soft. What? I don't know if you can see, but you do have lipstick in your hair now. <laughs> Already? I just, I feel like it's so early for that. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? Okay, so we only have three nude lipsticks left. Well, I guess technically four since the elf one is double-sided, but we're almost there. Oh, fancy. Was that cool? Sure. Is this what being cool feels like? And after those, we're done with the nudes. We've got a lot of lipstick in this pot. I also have a lot of lipstick heads in here, which are actually quite satisfying to look at. They do look like chocolate chips, except less edible, unless you're me, in which case, who knows if I'll eat it or not. So next up, it's time for the pinks. Now there are a lot of lipsticks in the pink section and some of them are kind of like pinky nudes. There was a lot of gray area, or should I say taupe area. So as a disclaimer, I'll say that these categories are subjective, but we tried our best with the rosy beiges. Yeah, this one looks nude. It's like terracotta, I don't know. Colors I don't like anymore. Terracotta, berry, and mauve. Very ambiguous colors, because mauve could be purple, pink, or nude. So mauve can just go where the sun don't shine. Oh, shiz. Yeah, the berry's gonna be soft, soft. Did you call me soft? I called you soft, yeah. They're gonna be soft, soft. 
these Burt's Bees are giving me Burt's Balls. I like keep thinking I'm about to get it and then it fails. I've been noticing that even though I'm not having as much luck with like pulling the entire lipstick out with the knife, I've been having some success pulling it out with my bare hands. This makes you want this lipstick a lot more, doesn't it? The hands don't always work though. Sometimes I just sort of grasp at it for a while and nothing happens. So on that note, this is our final pink lipstick and next up, we're on to the reds. Now, unlike the pinks, I feel pretty confident that most of these reds are in fact red. So yay for that. <laughs> However, as we saw with the Sephora lipsticks, the red ones are usually even softer than the pink ones. So even though they look good now, it's just gonna turn murdery real fast because they're not coming out without a fight. <gasps> oh, look at that, it's just a carmine fest. Yeah. Not all reds obviously contain carmine, which if you guys don't know is bugs, but Carmine is a like natural way to get a very red color. So there could be some Beetlejuice in here. Some Cleopatra approved Beetlejuice. I probably shouldn't say that a third time. That was big time right there. Those more burgundy ones are a little easier to get. That's not true. Burgundy is totally in the red category. Watch out, I'll fight you. And I have two knives. Ooh. Ooh. You're getting better with the red sock. I'm honing a useless skill. That is most of my life right now. <gasps> oh! <laughs> that was too cool. much! Wow, that was bold. Sorry, everyone. Maybe I should stop trying to backflip them so vigorously off my knife. I may be getting a little overzealous. All right, so after another hour, we are nearing the end of the red section. That means like the only hurdle really we have left is the purples, and then it's smooth sailing to a bowl full of lipstick. And bed. And also bed. Yes. Oh wow, it's getting high in there, Sophia. Tyler, this is gonna be full. When I said full, I meant full. <laughs> and with all those chopped, it's time to move on to the purples, which is sort of a diverse category that includes some true purples, but also some darker berries and some like mauvey, grayy colors. Now, I don't think this is gonna be super obvious because we're gonna be editing this footage heavily, but we have been chopping for hours and it's nearing 4 a.m. And in the hopes of finishing this chopping session before the sun rises, I'm just gonna forge right ahead through the purples. I'm gonna part the purple sea. That makes no sense at all. This is like hour five of the cold brew we drank at midnight. So like, this is where the brain starts going to mush. Yeah, I don't even know if I'm speaking words right now. So this is our final purple. Let me just decapitate him real quick. And then everyone cross your fingers for a clean exit. Oh yeah. There we go. Will there be a flip? Ooh, not bad. All right, so that concludes the purple category. So now all we have left are the browns, the oranges, and the miscellaneous. I think we can make it before the sun rises. Am I making any sense? Why am I doing like airplane signals with my hands? What's happening right now? Let's bring in the browns. Okay, we've decided we're not gonna talk about it anymore. We're just gonna chop. We are racing the Earth's rotation right now. We're trying to beat the sunrise. I mean, there's no reason really. It just seems sort of egregious to be doing this as the sun rises. At night, it's fine. I just want to say a big congratulations to Tyler for making it this far through the night. Tyler's not as much of a night owl as I am. I don't like all nighters. But you know, it's five and he's still here. So everyone say yay, Tyler. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna play again. Basically what's happening is we're playing Netflix and then we're pausing if we have a line. <laughs> That's the comment. I don't have any lines anymore. I'm just here doing this seemingly forever. Woo! And that is the browns. So I'm ready for our final two categories, the oranges and the miscellaneous category, which is mostly blues, grays, and whites. These categories are pretty small, so that's why I have these little baby containers for their heads. So cute, so small. There is daylight creeping in. You might notice that the frame will get slightly brighter over the next, I don't know, 30 to 45 minutes that it takes us to get through these lipsticks, but you know, it's okay. We had a good time. We watched about a season and a half of The Office, and I chopped over 500 lipsticks, so I'm feeling good. Okay, time for the final lipstick. Last one. Oh! oh. No! Attempt to, and salvaged. I don't know if I can backflip it. Oh, nope, it just flopped in. It plopped, it flopped, 
it flopped. All right, so with that, we are done detubing these damn lipsticks and it's time for us to go to bed. But I am very happy that we got all of our lipsticks chopped into our bowl and we have all of our little heads waiting to be melted into their mini category Franken lipsticks as well. So yay for this step being done. Good night slash good morning. And the next time you see me, hopefully I'll have slept and we'll be ready to melt. All right, so it's the next evening and we're here and mostly alive. So in terms of the melting, I'm gonna melt my big pot first and then we'll move on to the mini Frankens. So in a few of our previous melting videos, we've used this hot plate to kind of like get things going. And then we've gone in with the hair dryer and or other heating tools, including blowtorch. But I feel like that takes a while. So I'm gonna turn the hot plate on, but I'm not gonna wait for it to do anything. I'm just gonna get in there. Now in preparation of using our heating tools, I'm gonna suit up with my goggles and my gloves. Also, I am secretly wearing the Frankenfora lipstick just to celebrate the birth of a new mega Franken lipstick. That one's not about safety though, that's just for me. And now, the blowtorch. <laughs> Be safe with blowtorches, kids. Oh. I'm gonna try and like kind of move it around a little bit yeah. so it's not only on the orange. Don't focus too exclusively. Cause it's melting pretty fast, but it's also smoking. We tie it's really smoking. Okay, wait, hold on. <laughs> All right, let's go in a little bit with the hair dryer, just cause it's a little less intense. I don't want to like burn the pigment off. It's less instantaneous, yeah. but probably better for the lipsticks in the end. Oh uh, yeah. That was so satisfying. I like when it slides around. Oh, here we go. Do you see it? Oh. Lipstick mountain is crumbling. Or maybe it's slowly deflating. I love the smell. I kind of feel like I'm on a tropical vacation, but just with like a big box of crayons next to me. All right, I think we're approaching lipstick stew here. Whoa, whoa, it's liquid. All right, I feel like we should mix it up a little bit just because I feel like there are some layers down there that I think are solid because I haven't seen them yet. Oh yeah, look at that. There's a lot of stuff down there. <gasps> There's a sea of nudes under there. It's like Nudlantis, the lost nude civilization. So let's hit these under layers with the hair dryer too. And I think that just because there are a lot of chunks down there, I'm gonna use the blow dryer and stir with the spatula at the same time. And hopefully we can get them out of there that way. So I think we're pretty close to the final color of the Franken CVS. I think it is definitely in the same color family as the Franken Fora, but it might be a little less vibrant, like perhaps a little bit more nude or like beige. And it is also more sparkly. Very sparkly. For sure. After throwing my pot on the stove for a second, it's now completely liquid. So I'm gonna mix like these sort of like last lipstick bits in there really quick. There we go, that's what I wanna see. And then I'm going to ladle out our melted lipstick into our molds. And then we'll stick these guys in the freezer. Risky transfer, risky transfer. Sorry, I can't see anything. So to make this Franken CVS concoction, we melted down 540 lipsticks from 13 different brands. And within those 540 lipsticks, we mixed together 116 nudes, 152 pinks, 99 reds, 81 purples, 49 browns, 21 oranges, and 22 miscellaneous lipsticks. Irrespective of color, we also melted 100 38 matte lipsticks, 108 metallic lipsticks, and 294 cream, or unspecified, but I feel like the default is cream, lipsticks. And I feel like the fact that 20% of those lipsticks were metallic kind of accounts for the fact that our mixture is pretty shiny. There's also some sort of like pigment fragments on top, which to be honest, I'm not sure like from whence they come. My guesses are that they're either just large molten glitter chunks, or perhaps Perhaps I like fried some of the pigments out just a little, but either way, I'm just gonna ignore them. All right, so our Franken CVS is in the molds. So what we do now is we put them in the freezer for like 15 to 20 minutes, and then we'll take them out and tube them and see what they look like. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna scrape the excess wax off of the top here and then put it back into here just so we can like remelt it, you know, not lose any wax. I think like real lipstick makers have like real versions of this. Bloop, 
This is like some kind of like cake serving thing. I think it's actually like a Rosanna Pancino merch item. Are you serious? Yeah. Now in terms of how the color breakdowns compare between our CVS experiment and our previous one with Sephora, for both stores, the big four categories, nudes, pinks, reds, and purples, dominate across the board, but CVS's breakdown is more skewed towards pinks and away from purples, while Sephora's big four are pretty evenly represented. So if I thought Sephora liked pink, CVS might need a restraining order. All right, let me grab a tube. Ready? It's tube time. All right, here we go. Boom. And another Franken lipstick is born. <laughs> this one looks great. The funny thing is that despite the statistical differences in the color distribution, this color looks pretty similar to the Frankenfora color. It is definitely the sister or sibling of the Frankenfora, but I am very excited to see how it differs because I'm pretty sure it's not exactly the same. In particular, I do think that the color is a little redder and a little more muted. I do have some theories for why it is similar though, but I I'll reserve my final thoughts for when we swatch it. I'm gonna hold off for a second though, because we also have our mini category Franken lipsticks to make. So let me melt these down real quick. Okay, so for our baby Frankens, we scooped out our nude tips. One of them is stuck at the bottom. I bet you it's one of those damn physician's formula ones. The Revenge of the Moo Moo Butter. And melted them down in our tiny pan. Oh, oh, no smoking, no smoking, stop smoking. Are you an airline? Which gave us enough formula to cast about 11 Franken nudes. We followed the same process with our pink tips. Ooh, that looks like a lava lamp. Or like a fancy soap. Yielding enough pink goodness to make about 12 Franken pinks. And then we forged ahead to our reds. Now that one looks pretty appetizing, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. It's a little like a chunky marinara sauce. And our purples. And got about eight red and seven purple Franken lipsticks respectively. Purple people eater. The Franken purple people eater. Next up, we moved on to melting our brown tips. Oh wow. Something crazy just happened. A river formed. It's like the Willy Wonka chocolate river. This further confirms that I am the Augustus Gloop of lipstick. I'm surprised we didn't make that reference when we were making the lipstick cake, from which we made four Franken browns. And then we finished off the whole thing by melting our two final categories, our oranges. Orange, you glad we're making another lipstick? Grown. And our unusual colors, which I think was probably the biggest mystery of the day. What is this going to become? It's like a galaxy. Ooh, it's very galaxy. And ended up being kind of a sharky blue-gray color, but sparkly. Oh, this is up my alley. I'd call it alien blood. It does kind of look like alien blood. And from those small categories, we squeaked by with two lipsticks each. So from our mountain of tips, we came out with 46 sub-frankens of seven varieties. You birthed all those today. It's septuplets. Octosop. All right, so I have now tubed all of our lipsticks, so we're pretty much done on that front, which is exciting, but what we have not done is swatch them. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to have a swatching party with just myself, but you know, it's gonna be a party. I'll be there. Um, Tyler will be there, yes, and you guys will be there in the form of a camera, and we'll all get to see just how they look. All right, so it's a few days later, and it's time to swatch. So I'm gonna start off with our Frankenstein CVS, and then directly afterwards, I'm gonna swatch the Frankenfora just so we can get our final verdict. So first, the Franken CVS. Ooh, well, that's pretty good color. It's pretty shimmery from here. Can I go one more over? Why not? Yeah, there we go. Ooh, that's a better yeah. shape. All right, ready for the Frankenfora? Let's do it, yeah. Eh. Okay, eh. so they're similar. They're alarmingly similar. They're very, very similar. Yeah, they're the same. If I'm being crazy, I would say that the Franken CVS is a tiny bit rosier and like a little bit shimmery and a little bit lighter. But from far away, they look the same. I guess the good part about this is if you wanted the Franken Fora last time and you didn't get it, you have another shot basically. <laughs> <laughs> now, after staring at a color wheel for a few hours, it kind of makes sense that the two lipsticks are similar because even though there are some differences in the individual color stats, the lipsticks are still generally made up of the same big four categories. And when you break down the colors within those categories, they basically shake out to a 
ton of red, and a little bit of blue. I mean, pink is mostly red and white. Red is, well, red. Nude is sort of, I guess, like a pinky brown with white or gray, so there's definitely red in there. And then purple is red and blue. So when you mix all of those together, it would make sense to get the tertiary red-purple color. It seems like you would either need a lot more yellow lipsticks or a lot more blue lipsticks to really change the mixture to a completely different color. And it seems like neither Sephora nor CVS really thinks they can sell those, regardless of their difference in price point or customer base. All right, so this is the Mega Franken CVS on the lips. I think it looks quite good. It definitely went on quite wet, I would say. It has uh, quite a sheen. In terms of coverage, I did have to swipe on a few times, but I think that the coverage is pretty good after you build it just a little bit. Now let's zoom in for the inner waterline or butthole inspection. No, I think the butthole looks pretty good. Overall, I think the Franken CVS is a pretty attractive lipstick, but I do think it's sort of hilarious how much time we spent investigating the differences between the drugstore stock and the Sephora stock to get literally almost the same color in the end. It's sort of like solidifying the meme of bad makeup science, where it's like, it's we bad. had a hypothesis, but it came to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so after that climactic result, let's swatch the mini Frankens and see how those look. And first up is our nude subcategory. All right, there she is. Congratulations, you created the entire Kim Kardashian West makeup set. It does kind of look like a KKW nude, just because it's a little shiny too. Yeah. So it's got that wet feeling. And then next up is our Franken pink. Ooh, that's bright. That's also really sparkly. In the tube, it does not look that bright. No, it, it looks, looks pretty dustier. muted. Versus like Barbie pink. That is quite Barbie. Barbara Millicent Roberts. Who's that? That's Barbie's full name. Really? Yeah. And then next up, we've got our red color. That's pretty nice. That's a nice rich red. It's interesting. I feel like most of these colors in the tube look more dusty than they do on the arm. Like it looks almost burgundy in the tube, but then on the arm, it looks just like a nice, almost like strawberry blood. If you were a vampire rabbit, you would extract this from a strawberry. Are you talking about vinicula right now? I am making a vinicula reference, yes. And then here we've got our Franken purple. Ooh. Well, that's a good color. That is like a violet almost. Yeah. I don't really know what violet is, but it feels like it could be that. And then the Augustus Gloop brown. That is a milk chocolate, yes. Oh, that looks so tasty. It does look delicious, yeah. Okay, and then next up is our Franken orange. Very tangy. Yes. Like very like the tang the drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Tang. It's like a kick in the lips. And with that, we're on to our final color, the Franken Misk. I guess we're going with that. It's a weird name. It sounds like Frankenfish, which is a little more sheer than the other lipsticks. All right, there we go. The color is cool. If you build it, it will come. And also very glittery, especially on my arm. Oh, look, if I do this, if I squeegee my arm muscle around, is this muscle? Skin? Then you can see some of the glitter specks. Can you see them? I can see them, yeah. Bring it around town. Oh, that's a sight to behold. After the mild disappointment of the Mega Frankens being so similar, I am very pleased with how these mini guys turned out. They are all very creamy and also generally more vibrant than they look in their tubes. And though I enjoy them all, I think the red, brown, and misc are my favorites. Tyler likes the purple. He wanted me to say that. So after swatching all of our creations, we did our usual full wear test with the Mega Franken CVS just to see how it would perform throughout the day. We did an initial transfer test, found a few color dupes at the NYX store, and finally did like a taco smudge test. I think the Franken CVS creamy top layer faded away really fast, leaving my lips sort of stained and glittery, but this under layer of the lipstick barely moved throughout the day despite some aggressive taco eating. So I was pretty pleased with how it performed. And so finally, here are my lips now, eight hours later. So I guess I would say we've arrived at the end of our day of wearing the Franken CVS, and also the end of our drugstore Franken lipstick adventure. Now, as for what we're gonna name this shade, it is sort of just like the shimmery version of the Bury Me in Lipsticks color, which is the official name of the Frankenfora as suggested 
suggested by you guys last time. So I don't know that we need to name this specific color anything different, but we do have seven more Franken colors that we created in this video that I would love your guys' help naming. Please suggest names for those guys in the comments below. Now, aside from that, as we alluded to before, we are gonna be doing a subscriber giveaway with the 400 other tubes of the Franken CVS that we made. But instead of doing like a naming competition this time, we're just gonna be doing a randomized subscriber giveaway. And the rules for the giveaway are that you have to fill out the form that's in the description below so we can, you know, contact you because that was an issue last time. And you also have to be subscribed to this channel and also following me on the gram. That's Instagram. Please still follow me there. There are a few notes on the form regarding allergens, etc. So make sure to look out for those. I would also say in general that um, officially I would consider this lipstick a novelty item. These lipsticks are in no way approved by the FDA and I made them on my stove. So just keep that in mind. Thank you guys so much for watching. And once again, a big thank you to Honey for sponsoring this video. And you can check out Honey at joinhoney.com slash Sophia. I'm not sure if I had to say that again, but I did. If you liked that video, make sure to shamash that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to shamash that subscribe button. A big shout out to Sarabi for watching. Thanks for watching, Sarabi. And I will see you guys a next time.